entrepreneur. He's got Screen Town during the Halloween season, but uh, it's not Halloween now. And so he goes around performing, yep. thrilling and amazing. He's probably already stolen your wallet, Patrick, just as you've been sitting there. <laughs> He's, uh, he's going to be talking about the big thrill factory where he does shows now this April, and it might be extended for longer, right? Yeah, it just opened on Thursday night, the Mega Magic Show. The Mega, Mega Magic That's Show. huge. His yeah. opening night was during a snowstorm. That really? snowstorm last week, yeah. it was sold out. Everyone, really? Everyone that's came. Actually, that's very cool. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, you, you're creeping us out right now. Make my debt disappear, please. Okay. <laughs> okay. Should we give him a list of things we want to go away? Right, right. Just keep your distance. <laughs> Okay. Right, do we want to see a trick? Should we just yes, do a trick yes. right now? Okay, I'm going to stand up. All that's right. all right. Uh, yeah! Oh, that's not the trick. No, that's not the trick. But thank For me, you. sometimes that's, that's the trick. Pretty much. This music is so warm and fuzzy. That's yeah. what I like about it. Oh, James Bond. Oh, good. All right, I like that idea. Uh, we magicians, we always have to do a card trick. And maybe... Can you help me with this one, Melinda? He is kind of cute. Hey, thank you so much. Reach inside. Pull out any one you want. I can see it. That's just fine. What do you have? Listening, she's pulling out an ace. Oh, the ace. That's very good. Oh, yeah. A little commentary for those listening. The ace. Put your hand out just flat, uh, like a table here. Just set it right over there so we can yes. all see. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, hold it a little bit higher okay. so we can all see. Because we'll take yours. You had the uh, you have the ace. Is that right? Right. I'm going to put that flat on your hand. Put your other hand on top like a sandwich so it just can't get out of there. She's now has the ace between her hands. It's face down, ace. I'm kind of freaking out. All right, we're going to take the next card, which in this case is the two. Tell me if you can feel this. Did you feel that? I heard it. <laughs> you didn't feel it happen? I have the what? ace, which one do you Come have? Come on! Come on! What do you have? Okay. You just revealed that. Yeah, the two did happen. And the two of spades no. has jumped so into her hands. Round of oh applause. my gosh. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Stay, stay seated. <laughs> well, that's sweet of you. Well, this okay. I really was going to try to figure out your tricks. Okay. I can't. Well, that's that, the idea. That happened in front of me, on me, and I don't know what just happened here. How bad would it have been if you had gone, oh, that's just how you do it? <laughs> not as much fun. Right. Well, now, here, okay, now here's the deal. I was a little distracted, though, during that trick because I felt like, Patrick, I felt like you, close your mouth. Uh, I felt I felt like you were thinking of a card. What card have you been thinking of all day? What card have I been thinking about all day? You can just tell us. A three of clubs. Okay, there you go. That is very bizarre that you just said that. Look at this. Because Rusty was trying to do a mind yeah. thing with you it's earlier. Right, right, remember, and failed terribly. Yes. Um, <laughs> we're gonna, uh, yeah. Uh, I, in my back pocket, look at this. I have another pack of cards. Which one did you say? Three of clubs. Three of clubs. Look at this. One card. I looked in here this morning. One card, I'm going to spread them out, oh. in the entire deck had been turned over, and that was the three o'clock. Oh so I don't wow. know why really? you were really? thinking. This is, this is, this is. You talked to him before. It was the meditation this morning. That's round of applause for Magic that Bad Dragon. Oh. Oh. That's it. Please. No way. Thank you. No touching. Uh, <laughs> okay. All three issues All here. Right. <laughs> Yours is also the only red one in the entire deck, so okay. if, Pat, if you could just stop. Thinking and you're meditating, whatever yeah, you're right. doing in your spare time. When did you, know, you get into magic? How old oh my gosh. That's, well, that's what's cool about being here. Is I, so I started doing this when I was like six years old, and then I met Rusty like when I was probably like, um, God, I don't know, 14, 15. Rusty came yeah. over and did a story. And, well, you were the um, kid who had the over the top haunted house at his parents' house. Right. So he was this precocious, skinny little kid. Yeah. Right. My parents were so proud, scaring the neighbors, <laughs> doing magic tricks. They were like, please, just do something with your life it's and the done boy be again. a plumber. <laughs> well, you, did, you went on to college at prestigious St. Thomas, right? Right. Went to St. Thomas and then um, moved the haunted attraction out of the yard into. Um, um, you made it a business. You made it a business. Well, you, yeah. You're out in the cornfields, and you remember the scary clown? Uh, yeah, you came out one year. Yes. I remember there was that. The scary clown. The clown asylum. The clown right, asylum, yeah. and where there was a scary clown like chasing. Mm -hmm. I remember the year you came out. It was like, I'm a little who I is that girl screaming? <laughs> and that it was girl? like, <laughs> yeah. and then when I found you guys. I was like, good right. to see you. <laughs> so he's got uh, he's got Scream Town that goes mm -hmm. on during the uh, during the Halloween season. Uh, so the the show at the big thrill factory. Tell yeah. us about that show first. So okay, so if you if anyone's ever seen my magic show before, so I do it at like Seavers Corn Maze, and I do you know corporate events and whatever, and it's the same kind of show. So I had talked to Big Thrill Factory and said, what could we do that would be like the like the mega show? We said, well, well, that's it right there, mega magic show. So we're calling it the mega magic show, 
And it's it's really for any age. If you like magic, it's just fun for anybody. It's just kids like it, adults like it. Um, yeah, because there's, there's a lot of kids at Ooh. the Big Thrill Factory, mm -hmm. so that's who was in the audience, and they were loving I you. I think that magic, though, honestly, as an adult, brings out the kid in you. It sure does, That's yeah. why it's so much fun. Right. You can do it with your kids. Mm -hmm. and What's the balance, though? Because these kids started heckling. Right. And you found a way to almost encourage them and be kind of snotty toward them. Well, you them. have to be professional. And a lot of times if they start, you know, yelling things out like, oh, we know how that works, I'll whisper in their ear like Santa's not real. Uh, <laughs> or, um, you know, what? In, in a warm way. And then their mind has to go elsewhere. And then, they, you know, and then I can focus on. Kids, right. I can focus show. on what I'm doing. Um, no, I like it. Because kids are the ones that will always be like, I'll show an adult. And they're like, that was really good. And a kid will be like, do your sleeve. And you're like. It is, damn it. Right. Like, no, how does he know that? I'm like, they're the ones. Like... Here, but this stuff is, I can show you a cool illusion, because this oh. stuff is really, I, 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 do, do, Pat, do you have a dollar on you by any chance? You have not? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm oh right, I didn't want to go down. I, I didn't want to <laughs> go down. I got it all. Oh, you do? I, I do. Okay. I do. Okay. Wow. There you go. Let's go with a five. Right. Okay, <laughs> very good. It's the last one, man. Okay, that's all right. No, he's in debt again. It's the last five. Get it? Anyone? Okay. All right, very good. I thought you were out of five. Uh, okay. Uh, here's, the, here's, the, here's the... All right, this looks like Patrick's five. This looks like a pencil. If I put a crease in the bill, so I'm bending the bill in half. We're putting yeah. a crease in it long ways for those at home. I'm placing the pencil inside of the yeah, fold yeah. in the bill. Yeah. Melinda, feel that. Is it in there? That's what she said. Okay. <laughs> Did you say we're editing this? Okay, watch. If I put, add a little bit of pressure... Like this, it will it look. Just reminds me of three nights ago. Right. <laughs> I don't even. I it's first a cucumber. Okay. Uh, okay. If I put, if I push like this, it'll look Whoa. like it's going right. See, I added yeah. some pressure. It looked like it punctured right through uh, the bill. Safety. In fact, if I do one of these, it sounds like it ripped. Luckily, if I go like that, it will melt right what? back what? together. I mean, there were no moves. There was not. I mean, look. I mean, look at that. Make sure there's no holes of any kind. I mean, that's a little close. Um, <laughs> but look, there. I did have a little a help. Did you see the thing that helped? No. Okay, no. Here, you, here, right here. You just hold on to that by the stem. Grab on by the stem. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to show him to you. He fits okay. right He fits right up inside here. I'm just going to coil up the dollar like this and just kind of pour it right into your oh end of the glass there. It looks oh. a little like there was something inside. This is not funny, and I'm really what? I'm, I'm scared. What? Oh. He has just produced the goldfish. The goldfish. If you have to use the restroom, I understand. Oh, my God. No, but I feel like this guy needs some... Oh, thank you. So we made a fish appear. If you weren't, everyone went speechless. So a fish came you out of pants. I, well, yeah, dollars. but I mean, I think I should give you a tip. Well, well, what what that's shows, not necessary. What can the people see? <laughs> What are the shows? Uh, so the shows are every every Thursday, and they're gonna run. Um, it's it, so it also includes dinner, which is really cool. It's, yeah. it's like all you can eat pizza, and there's pasta and salad and dessert and you know whatever else. And what then time uh, on Thursday? the show. So six thirty dinner, and then the shows it's it's out at uh, Big Thrill Factory. Big Thrill Factory, Mega right there Magic Highway Seven and One Hundred One. And real quick, I, we're running out of time here, but he's got some crazy plans for the end of the summer. I know spring has just begun, but you're gonna do. Yeah, we mentioned his haunted house thing. You're yep. going to freak people out at camp? Right. We're going to put large billboards all over the state that look a little bit like this. It's really going to be <laughs> terrifying. Come on, it's going to ruin people's what summer. And, uh, <laughs> no. No, you, no. So, it, okay. So, uh, the Somerset Amphitheater, that's in Wisconsin, which yeah. is just right. like right over the border. So, yeah. it's not even a far distance. And um, so, they're, they've done events, huge events, all for many years. And this is going to be a camping haunted experience. So, Labor Day weekend. It's going to be Terror at so Camp kind of Somerset. So you come. They made a movie called Friday, Friday the 13th. About yeah. this yeah. You stay at the campground, and it's <laughs> going to be a party, but also terrifying. So a haunted trail through the woods, and then I think when people are sleeping, we're going to mess with them, like, in their tents. Yeah. And there's going to be, you know, no, a bunch of our, masks. well, whatever you're into. Uh Scary actors and... Um, I've never heard of anything like this. No, it's really it cool. sounds pretty so cool. Like, yeah. you've, you've heard of the murder mystery parties. This yeah. is oh, like yeah. taking no, that to the is, next level. I'm going to yep. be there for sure. Oh, yeah. that much. Well, yeah, we should be there. Yeah, so Terra no, Camp we Somerset, the websites, you can right. go see a little bit of the website right now. If you want to find updates, you can go to Screamtown.com and sign up that way. You'll still get updates for the Terra Camp Somerset, but All it's right. going to be really cool. The tickets are going to go on sale uh, shortly. Can I eat the goldfish? No, this is not one of your KSTP frat no. parties. <laughs> Thank you very much. Those were we are out of time. Thanks, Matt. Pleasure. Uh, you and I are going to go hit the ball game? 
tomorrow? Oh, yes, we are. Twins? Yep, twins? we are. Twins. Twins. Yeah. All right. And uh, that's about it. Thanks for joining the Rest of the Game in Review with Melinda Jacobs and our unemployed weather guy, Patrick Hammer. And a special once again, thanks for Matt Dunn for that coming awesome. on down. Always fun. Guys. We will release fun. the goldfish into the lake. Right? <laughs> yeah, yes. just don't use the lower level restroom. Yeah, don't. <laughs> oh, that's great. And I live here. Terrific. Oh, yeah. All right. We'll see you next see time. See you later. Call it magic.